Welcome to another video from RSK. Converting between RBTC and Bitcoin is only getting easier with more options. In this video, you're going to learn how to convert between Bitcoin and RBTC using the POWPEG method. At a high level, the process looks like this. You'll start with Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network. You'll send that Bitcoin to the POWPEG, then the RBTC that you receive will be sent to your RBTC account. And once you have your RBTC, you're now able to transact on the RSK network with much lower fees, and you can now interact with RSK's DeFi on Bitcoin ecosystem. When you use this service, you have to take into account three things. First, at the time of making this video, order processing is performed automatically, and the time is set to 100 Bitcoin block confirmations, no matter how many Bitcoin that you are sending. Two, the fee for this process is the only fee that you pay to send your Bitcoin. There's no additional fees. Three, to perform the exchange, you need a minimum of 0.005 Bitcoin. And while there is no maximum for a PEG-in transaction, the total cannot surpass the maximum locking cap. So at the time of recording this video, the maximum locking cap is 3000 Bitcoin, but it may change in the future. It's important to note that if you send less than the minimum, your funds will be lost and there's no way to recover them. So be careful. Before you can get started, there are three requirements that you need to meet. So you may need to undertake a little bit of preparation ahead of time. First, you already have an Electrum wallet installed on your computer. Note, you need to create a legacy wallet, not SegWit. If you haven't downloaded Electrum, you can access it at electrum.org. Second, you have some Bitcoin in your Electrum wallet. If you don't have any Bitcoin, you can get it on an exchange or get someone to send you some. Third, you have a wallet that is compatible with the RSK network. Defiant or Nifty are examples, but there are others. In this example, I'm gonna use Nifty. Once we have Bitcoin in our Electrum wallet, we need to get the POWPEG address where the Bitcoin should be sent. So this is going to lock your Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network, have it processed by the POWPEG bridge, and then the same amount will be issued to you on the RSK network. In order to do this, you need to use a tool that lets you interact with smart contracts on RSK, like my Ether wallet or mycrypto.com. There's others too, but in this example, I'm going to use mycrypto.com. Go to mycrypto.com, then at the top menu, go to tools and select interact with contracts. Next, on the network menu, search and select RSK. On the contract menu then, select bridge, then select the button that says interact with contract. And in the read and write contract section, select get federation address. Once you do this, a Bitcoin address that starts with three is going to appear on the bottom. This is the address that you need to send your Bitcoin to. Now go to the Electrum app and under the send tab, paste the address into the pay to input box. Input the amount that you want to send. Remember, it needs to be more than 0.005 Bitcoin. Send the transaction by clicking pay and entering your Electrum password. Now the transaction to lock the Bitcoin is sent and we have to wait until 100 Bitcoin blocks have been validated. This is done in order to achieve a high level of security and it's going to take about 16 hours. Once that process is complete, your RBTC will be available on the RSK network. Now let's cover how you can access your RBTC. In order to access our RBTC, we need to do two things. First, you need to get the private key of the wallet where the RBTC will be deposited. And second, you need to import the private key into a wallet where you can manage those funds. Please note that if you repeat the process, you don't need to do this every time. Your RBTC will be delivered to the same RSK address as long as you send it from the same Bitcoin address. In order to get the private key on the RSK network, you should download a file from the following website. Once you get that file, select the file called build.zip and download it. And don't worry, it works on all operating systems, including Mac, Windows, and Linux. Next, unzip the file, open it, and open the file called index.html. This will open a very simple page in your browser that's going to help you get the private key for your RBTC wallet. The input here is your Bitcoin private key. So you need to go to your Electrum wallet and get that private key. To do this, go to wallet, private keys, and export. You're gonna need to input your password and then wait for a few seconds and your private keys will be shown. From this list, 
you should copy the alphanumeric string that is in the top right column after the semicolon and on the first line. Do not include P to PKH colon. Once you copy that string of numbers and letters, go back to that index page that you opened before and paste it to the top input box corresponding to the from BTC to RSK key. Then click transform and the file that's generated is the RSK private key and an RSK address. So in this case, we're interested in the RSK private key as you need this to manage your RBTC. Now that you have your RSK private key, go to a wallet and import it. So in this video, I'm using Nifty Wallet, but you can also use Defiant and many others. In Nifty, go to the top left and make sure that you have selected RSK network. Then on the top right, click the profile icon and select import account. Keep the tab as private key and paste the private keys you previously got. Click import. Finally, this is the account where you can receive your RBTC and you can manage it in whatever way that you want. If you want to learn more about the RSK Smart Network upcoming developments and its ecosystem, please subscribe and turn on notifications.